All right, guys, so as you know, I just moved to Texas, uh, Fort Bliss, El Paso area, uh, about a couple weeks ago. I had a 97 F-150 four-wheel drive, had a lot of miles on it. Did quite a bit of work to it, just keeping it maintained or whatever, but uh, so I didn't feel like dragging it all the way here. So instead, I uh, sold that, and I was like, I'll just buy something when I get here. So I've been looking on the local Craigslist and all over the place and haven't really had a whole lot of luck. And then finally, um, yesterday, I had quite a bit of good luck, I guess. Uh, I found a nice little 1988 Dodge uh, short bed, D150 with a 318 in it. Uh, really clean truck, needed a little bit of a tune-up, but I think I got that pretty well taken care of. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the truck. Alright, so here's the truck. Driver's side. I mean, it doesn't have any dents at all, really. I don't really care for the wheels. But the price was right, so can't complain. Everything's pretty good and straight. But even the bed doesn't look like it's hauled a whole lot of junk or any... I'm crazy for for being from Texas. It's not really that sun faded. I think because it's white, it kind of helps. All the trim pieces are still there. It came with the uh, like original from the uh, with the original aftermarket bumper, whatever that was an option by Chrysler or Dodge or whatever. With the, along with the uh, bed rails, as you can see, like the lights and stuff are faded, but they're not cracked. So I can't complain. This side has a weird yellow stripe on it. I'm trying to see if I can get that covered up with black just some sort of like just solid black racing stripe or whatever but here it is pretty good shape the guy came down a lot on the price and actually kind of gave me like a military discount type thing so can't complain <clears throat> real close to the house can't see a whole lot uh, I'll make another quick video of the inside and then the, the engine compartment this is the inside one of the only issues is the uh, has the uh, power windows and this one side the window the motor is disconnected he said the motor was bad so I gotta change that but look at the dash no cracks or anything they must have had it covered or something pretty good shape inside seats you know got some worn spots or some dirty spots but no tears it's actually in really really good shape they kept it really clean it's got a hundred and hundred and thirty eight thousand miles on it it was ready for a good tune-up so uh i'll show you guys what i did there all right so you can see as a 1988 the engine bay is fairly clean not a whole bunch of aftermarket parts or duct tape or crazy hose clamps or anything like that i got a, a little bit more work to do to the uh vacuum lines i think i got a leaky one somewhere it runs pretty good uh i did a little quick tune-up on it you're not really gonna be able to see it. i did an air filter uh, new plugs and wires. The gaps were all crazy. Yeah, I'm gonna see way back there. Distributor cap and rotor. The rotor was cracked. And then, uh, just for curiosity, I checked timing. And luckily, I did because it was about 10 degrees off. It was right on top dead center. So, but yeah, it's a good little runner. I did an oil change and a fuel filter, trying to freshen it up a little bit. Uh, I, I did run a little bit of uh, about three ounces of sea foam in the oil when I did the oil change. So I'll change that again here pretty soon. And then uh, I just put the remainder of the can in the actual uh, fuel. I was going to put it through the vacuum system, but I didn't want to do that until I actually had it, uh, the vacuum system all buttoned up and exactly perfect and everything. But, yep, here she is. I like it. So, uh, let me know if anybody's a Dodge expert. I've honestly never in my life worked on a Dodge or a 318 or anything, so mostly a Ford guy or whatever, but I'm not really much of a mechanic. Just kind of know what I read in the books and on the internet. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, maybe I'll get some performance upgrades or something like that. I'll make some videos or how to check timing or a couple of different things or whatever. Needs a, <clears throat> needs an intake uh, gasket or a manifold gasket for the exhaust. I don't know which side it is, but I hear it pretty strong ticking. So I'll have to check that out. But for now, it's just a driver back and forth to work. All right, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy. And uh, like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff.